So today medicine we'll see about post stroke inflammation. I just crank them a little bit over here. So. Okay. And so what happens? Just had a stroke, I say. We had a stroke. AKA ischemia. And our cells were, we had our neurons, actually our blood supply. Then we have neurons. They are something like this, you know, they are the axon. And what happens that was it was going breaking apart, you know. I don't know if you can see. Actually, let me change this. Something like this. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like being... It was eaten. Huh? So, what happens is that it begins to inflammate. We have, we have macrophages, we have amps, which are damage, ex, damage associated, micro, damage associated molecular pattern, so, yeah. Oops. And so we got got them right here, and they are the one who I, I, I call uh, the macrophages. So the macrophages come into roll, and then some of these macrophages become the anti-inflammatory crew kind, and so it, it stops uh, swelling. Now it stops swelling. And so we had ischemia all over this place over here. Now we have less, less, forgot the name, less inflammation. And so what happens next is that all of this. And then we have the liquefacting necrosis process. Uh, yeah, which all of this uh, is like a liquefied uh, debris. Debris. Okay, so yes, kind of like a liquid. And all of this will be. Uh, it will be like that, like a cyst. And one of two things can happen. It can be um, cleared completely. And we'll have our brain was like this. And now a bit like this, you know, lacking. Or we'll just have a hole through the brain. And both of them are bad. Which are something like that. 